So I want to give you an update on a project that we started last month. This is our tropical cold frame. One of the challenges that we face at the nursery because of the location of where we are, which is South Phoenix, is that we get eight to 10 degrees colder than advertised, which is generally Metro Phoenix. So many winters we're gonna get in the mid to high 20s, which is a problem if you wanna grow a lot of the fun stuff outside. I don't wanna to have to deal with the headache of protecting 50 or 60 individual trees placed around the property every winter. So I thought, why don't we just put everything in one location, build a structure, logistical side is done, hard work is out of the way, now we can have fun with it. So the point of this frame is to test our cold protection methods slash ideas. Last year, we used DeWitt 1.5 ounce frost fabric on the inventory structure and it worked very well. Kept it about 10 degrees warmer just by cutting out the moving air. That was without supplying heat. This structure, we're going to do the same. So right now we have a 30% shade fabric up. We don't wanna black out the sun from these trees. They want sun, but we just wanna take the edge off at the very least while they're young, newly planted. We don't want our summer sun to dehydrate the plants. So we have 30% shade fabric up. This will come down probably end-ish of September. And then the frost fabric will go up when we see that we're gonna start getting into the 30s, which is probably gonna be sometime in November. And that'll stay up through about end of February-ish. If need be, we'll supply some supplemental heat, but I'm hoping we don't have to do that, at least if it's a normal winter. The structure is about a 30 by 45. Inside here, we have a handful of tropicals, subtropicals and ultra tropicals, because we want to test how they're going to handle it. We've got peanut butter tree, we have star cherry, we have different bananas, papayas, ice cream beans, star fruit, hog plum, custard apple, sugar apple, longan, lychee, yellow sapote, otherwise known as canistel, soursop, jackfruit, Coffee will be going in the ground soon, along with the rose apple and the wax jamboo. Black sapote, mango, of course. June plum, air vipe avocado, which does not need cold protection, but just want to see how one grows out here with 30% shade fabric. Nanche, butterscotch sapodilla, green sapote, jabba de caba, which again doesn't really need any cold protection here in Phoenix. And coconut palm. That's one I'm anxious to see how it holds up in our winters. We did start with a little more mature trees because A, I don't like to wait. B, older trees, larger trees will handle a little bit more stress. We do get flood irrigation here. As you can see, the weeds and grass are starting to take over. It's fine, we still need to mulch. We're gonna put down about a foot and a half thickness of mulch on top of the ground. Trees are planted. They've gotten two waters so far. Most of the stuff has been in the ground about three weeks. We're already starting to see some new growth. Temps have been really nice. We're just now touching the low hundreds. These trees enjoy it. If you have any questions, please ask in our Facebook group, Living the Green Life. Our Instagram page is Seamus underscore O'Leary underscore. We'll do an update here in another couple months. Thanks for watching.